Hi, my name is Erin, and this is Lesson 1 of the Hazards on the Homefront Teacher Guide for Grades 4 through 6. This guide was developed by the local Hazardous Waste Management Program in King County. The average home has about 60 household hazardous products, which include household cleaners, paints, lawn or garden chemicals, and personal care products such as nail polish or nail polish remover. Lesson 1 on pages 11 through 21 of your guide introduces students to the term hazardous and identifies the characteristics of household hazardous products. The lesson does not focus on household items such as electronics, for instance TVs and computers that may contain hazardous chemicals and components. Neither does it deal with candies and toys contaminated with lead, nor items that pose a hazard due to their sharpness, such as knives. The message of this lesson is to avoid buying products that contain hazardous ingredients, or to at least choose the least hazardous product available. This lesson contains an entry point activity, three 30-minute investigations, plus one take-home assignment. As part of these investigations, students will create a class definition of the word hazardous. Survey their own homes for hazardous products. And learn what makes each item hazardous. Each investigation has discussion questions and reflection prompts at the end to help assess student understanding of the key concepts. Introduce the lesson by reading Reggie the Pacific Tree Frog to students. This story is meant to engage and motivate students as they move from learning and understanding into taking action. Discuss with students where tree frogs live, what they eat, and how they were affected by the actions of people in the story. Investigation 1A, titled The H Word, asks students to answer the question, what is a hazardous product? To begin this investigation, ask students to write their own definition of a hazardous product. Agree as a class on one definition. The definition should refer to something that causes harm to human health or the environment. Typical examples of student definitions include something you buy and store at your house that can hurt humans or the earth, substances in a home that can be harmful to humans and the planet, or chemicals used in or around a home that can be harmful or dangerous. Have students take home the home survey data sheet on page 14 to complete with an adult. Also send home the parent guardian letter on page 13. The letter explains the home survey activity and asks for parent supervision of it. The home survey asks students to list in which room they find a hazardous product, the product's name and what it's used for, and the amount of product in the container. They will do this for all the products in at least two rooms or areas of their home. Students can attach the completed data sheet in their journals. They will use the information in this survey in the next two investigations. Investigation 1B, titled Hazardous Hotspots, Ask students which area in a home is likely to have the most hazardous product. Draw the shape of a house and its various rooms on a large sheet of paper. Or you can use the image of the house on slide 1.5 in your guide. Give students small stickers in the amount to match the number of products they listed on their home survey data sheet. For example, if I listed five products, I will get five stickers. Students will share the results of their survey by placing a sticker on the diagram in the room where they found each of their products. For example, in the kitchen, I found a dishwashing product and an all-purpose spray cleaner. So I'm going to place two stickers in the kitchen on the diagram. In the bathroom, I found a toilet bowl cleaner. So I'm going to place a sticker in the bathroom. Students can use the class results to create a data table in their journals and tally the number of hazardous products found in each room or area of their home on the classroom diagram. Then have students rank the rooms from highest to lowest in number of hazardous products. 
Use the discussion questions in the guide to analyze the results. Where in our class house did you find the greatest number of hazardous products? Who spends the most time in that room of your house? How might the results be different for a school located in the country versus a school located in a city? Investigation 1C, titled The H Terms, teaches students the chemical properties that make a product hazardous. Using slides 1.1 through 1.4, go over each of the four principal hazards and their definitions. Students can write each hazard and definition in their journals, leaving space to list examples. Let's briefly go over the four hazards together. Some hazardous products are toxic, also known as poisonous. Toxic products can cause injury or death if swallowed, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin. It's important to emphasize with students that poisons don't have to be swallowed to cause harm. Poisoning can also occur from the fumes of a toxic product or through contact with the skin. It's also important to note that the impact is not always immediate, but it can develop over time. Examples of toxic products in a home are brake fluid, brass polish, yard chemicals, and rat poison. As you introduce each hazard, ask students if they can think of their own examples of products in each category of hazard. For instance, other toxic products include rubber cement and bleach. Some hazardous products may also be corrosive. Corrosive means the product can eat away materials, including living tissue. Examples of corrosive products in the home include oven cleaner, drain clog remover, pool and spa chemicals, and the battery in the family car. Examples of corrosive products students may mention include Clorox bleach, Comet, or Drano. Hazardous products may also be reactive. Reactive means the product can react with air, water, or other substances to cause fire, explosions, or toxic gases. A safe way to demonstrate reactivity is to combine baking soda and vinegar. And let students observe the effect. Now that students have observed this safe reaction, let them know that there are many reactions that are hazardous. An especially important one to know about is one that can occur in the home when bleach and ammonia are mixed. The fumes can create a toxic gas. Emphasize to students that care should be taken not to mix products accidentally when cleaning. Clorox Cleanup plus bleach contains bleach. And Lysol All-Purpose Cleaner contains ammonia. If both products are used on the same surface, such as a kitchen counter, a hazardous reaction could occur. Mixing these two chemicals can create a colorless and odorless gas, which is hazardous and can be deadly. Other examples of reactive home products include some dishwashing detergents, drain cleaners, and pool and spa chlorine. Lastly, some hazardous products are flammable or combustible. This means that they can catch on fire at relatively low temperatures. Remind students that flammable products don't require a match or a flame to ignite. Heat, sparks, or static discharge may make them catch fire or even explode. Examples of flammable products include paint thinner, spray paint, rubber cement, insect fogger, including flea bombs, some hairsprays, and almost anything in an aerosol can. Another popular example of a flammable product is charcoal lighter fluid. Keep in mind, different products have different levels of hazards. Also, some products may be hazardous in multiple ways. For example, bleach is toxic, corrosive, and reactive. After learning all four hazards, students can discuss which ones they see most frequently in their own home. Now that students have a good idea of what kinds of hazardous products can be found around the home, 
they're ready to learn in lesson two how to identify the level of hazard by reading the product labels. Teachers can download sample student materials and other useful information by going to our website at http colon slash slash your dot king county dot gov slash solid waste slash hazards.